Hi everyone, this is Paula from Grey Matters Blog, and I am here once again with another episode of Perusing Pencils. So on the first episode of this segment, I talked about the Stadler Noreika 2014, which is one of my holy grails. This pencil that I'm about to show you guys is another one of the pencils that is in my top five favorite pencils of all time. It's one of the pencils that I carry around with me every day, and I'm super excited to be showing you guys why I love it so much. So just a little bit of background, when I am looking to add a pencil to my favorites, I like to keep a couple things in mind. The first of which is point retention. Since I'm a writer, I do a lot more writing with my pencil than drawing, so point retention is very important to me, especially since sometimes I don't have access to a sharpener right away. So that's something that I like to keep in mind. Second, I like to think about how dark the pencil writes. It's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine when I'm writing on like a white sheet of paper to have a pencil that's like almost gray. So I really usually tend toward graphite that's graded B or 2B rather than the general HB that the regular population uses. But there are HBs that have surprised me and this Apsara is one of them. So the third thing that I look for in a pencil is how smooth it writes, and that often has to do with the quality of graphite. So when you're writing with a pencil like the Blackwing or any of the Japanese pencils like the Mitsubishis or the Tombos, those graphites are definitely much smoother than average, than the average yellow pencil that you can get in America. But sometimes these quote unquote cheaper pencils will surprise you, and this Apsara is again one of them. And finally, I like to look for how well does the pencil erase. And as you can see, this Absura does not have an attached eraser, so we are going to be using a couple of erasers, handheld erasers, to test the erasability, which I have in my trusty Klimp tin here. So this is my carry-all kit. I can go into detail about that in another video. But basically, when you pop it open, it carries a brass bullet eraser, which is on a key ring. Very portable. Then I have a Crown Diash Technic eraser. I have a high polymer Pentel, a Sakura foam, which almost everyone in the pencil population loves, and a Uniboxy, which is one of my, my personal favorites. So I'm going to use these three, the Sakura foam, the Pentel high polymer, and the Boxy eraser, the Uniboxy, to erase our gorgeous Apsara graphite in just a moment. So I am using to test our Apsara over here this nice graph lined pen plus grid index card. They come in packs of 100 and you can buy them at Walmart. I really like them because they work really well for both pencil and fountain pens as well as even regular ball pens and gel pens. So I use them for a lot of things including making these pencil reviews but not limited to just that. So they're a great way to take notes, to keep lists, but I also love using them for this purpose because I keep the cards after I do the review and use them as my inventory. So here we go, let me show you how this works. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that I can show you some of the features of this pencil that I'm holding. So we have this sharpened Apsara Absolute. You can see that the paint job on it is a charcoal gray, has a barcode here. We have some silver detailing right here, you can see that. And then here, the ferrule is dip painted in this gorgeous teal color. So it's really nice. The Apsara Absolute, and it says right next to it, extra strong and extra dark. That's painted in white. You can see that there's kind of a little bit of fading. It's because I use this pencil so much. And finally, one of the coolest features of this is look at that core. It is really thick and it's huge. So I'm really excited to be showing you how much power this baby packs. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna write at the top my usual Apsara Absolute and look at already how dark that is and how awesome that is. So to test point retention, I'm just gonna do a row, a couple rows of X's for you. So the amazing thing about this is that, I'll show you when I'm done making these X's, is that the point barely changes. And that's why I really like this because when I'm traveling and don't have access to a sharpener, the point retention on this is unreal. It basically stays the same regardless of how many pages I've written and I almost never have to sharpen it. So I'll show you that right now. So I've just written one, two, three, four rows of X's, but look at the point. It's almost like I haven't used it. 
almost like I haven't used it. Amazing. So look at that. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. I'm in love with this pencil, obviously. So now I'm just gonna write a quick sentence. And you can see how smoothly it writes. Love that. And again, how dark it is, even after all this nonsense. Finally, we'll do a smudge test. So disclaimer, it's really hot where I am right now and my hands are kind of sweaty, so this might smudge more than usual. Oh, not really, just a little bit. I'll bring that up for you guys so you can see. Teensy bit of smudge, just a teensy, teensy bit. And then finally, we'll do our three eraser tests. So we're gonna do one line up here. I'm gonna go about halfway through the card. Two. And then we'll do the third one down here. Three. And then I'm going to label each one next to it so we know what eraser we used. So we have the Sakura Foam, Pentel, High Poly, and they have the Uni Boxy. Again, I've written all of that, I've done all these swiggly lines. The point is still as sharp as ever. Unreal. Unreal. Anyway, let's put this bad boy down. There you go, so we can still see it. And then I'm gonna take my racers one by one from my little Clinton over here. I'm gonna race half for you guys so you can see the difference. So, I'll just go in all the directions. Let's do our Hi Polly next. <laughs> and then finally our boxy. Honestly, as you can see, oops, it erases pretty well. There is almost no residual left, especially with the uni boxy. Look look at that at the bottom. But for all intents and purposes, the graphite is a pretty nice erase. So overall, this pencil, especially, especially, especially with the point retention, hits all of the happy points for me when I'm looking for something that's retention-wise very good, that's dark, and that is low maintenance because I barely have to sharpen it. I mean, look, we just did this whole card with it and the point has barely changed. So point retention is definitely a winner for me with the Absura. I also, on the plus side, really like its aesthetic. It's cute and it's simple and does the job. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is my, one of my holy grails, one of my favorite pencils, the Absura Absolute. So once again, this is Paula with On Grey Matters and I will see you again soon. Bye.